Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review bowling balls. This one's for the Juggalos and the Juggalettes. This is a movie produced by the Insane Clown Posse to accompany their new album, Hell's Pit, which was one half of a double release, the other being Shangri-La. Combined, this was the Wraith, the sixth Joker's card in a decade-long release schedule for ICP. This movie, however, is about two young girls just driving around. They hit a guy, which we know as Shaggy Two Dope's character, Shaggy Two Dope, and their car breaks down because of this. Thankfully, local bed and breakfast owner, Jay, AKA Violent Jay, the sweetheart that he is, decides to offer them some lemonade and a place to stay. Well, they call for some help. Little do they know that Violent Jay and Shaggy Two Dope collect heads like bowling balls, which just so happens to be a song from the album that this movie is featured on. And so this movie also acts as a music video. Before we get into this, it's worth just like addressing the big elephant in the room. John and I are closet juggalos. I wouldn't say closet, I think we're retired juggalos. We've talked about it in the past, where John and I have met at a concert. That concert was not a concert. It was an ICP meet and greet for the amazing Jekyll Brothers, the fifth Joker's card uh, in downtown Toronto. We waited in line for eight hours together. Me and my buddy Dave, who's been on this show as well. We were first in line and we met a bunch of different people and John was one of them. We kept in contact because if you're familiar with ICP, they have a very dedicated fan base. We lived like three hours away and we would get together all the time, go to concerts, go to shows. So we kept in contact for probably 15 years before I moved down to where John lives. Yeah, because we were like 16 years old. So like, this is like 20 years running. But yeah, we had some wild adventures for at least almost like 10 years of craziness. Lots of concerts, lots of autograph signings, couple gatherings. And like we say that as in like the gathering of the Juggalos where we would go camp for four days and, and only <laughs> drink vodka, pop a bunch of fucking pills. And it was the most crazy and wild adventure. And eat yeah. peanut butter sandwiches. And sleep in the worst conditions. Yep, under a transport truck at one night. And the things you do when you're young. I know we're just sitting here reminiscing about our Juggalo past, but I think it's worth mentioning. A lot of you have commented on videos where we've made like ICP references yeah, we've been Juggalos. Anyway, let's talk about the likes for bowling balls. The main reason you're here to watch this is because of the hilarious kills. They look great. This is a quality film. I'm very surprised at how good it is shot and presented. Yes, you need to take into consideration that is definitely still indie and it's just a short film for like a bonus extra on a DVD. So, well, a lot of time probably went into this. Not a lot of time went into this also. It's just a story based off of a song. It was a music video that turned into a film. But it works. There's a lot of practical heads. I think one of the best kills is the jock. Because if you know ICP, they like to stab people. I stab people, four or five people every day. And Shaggy just goes off. He straight up just like cuts this head off and there's just like blood spraying and he just keeps stabbing it in the mouth and he just keeps stabbing it. And this is where the comedy works as well because you think he's done and they just go in for a couple extra stabs. Then you think he's done again. Nope, still not. Goes in for a couple extra stabs. And so not only the practical effects are good, but also the comedy, especially as like ICP fans, they have pretty low tier comedy and you would expect that, especially if you've seen movies like Big Money Hustlers or the sequel, Big Money Rustlers. Both are hilarious, or at least were back in the day, but I'm sure it came with the appreciation of us as juggalos ourselves. <laughs> because I think if normal people watch those, they'd be like, what the fuck are these? I absolutely love Violent J in this movie, and he's just being himself. And you have a beautiful melanin, we want it! In real life, he's very entertaining, he's over the top. The way that he speaks, it's confident and comedic. Straight out of the tunnel of love, that guy. I'm a localer here in town and I noticed you're having some car trouble. I was wondering if I might be of some service. I liked our set. Like the location that it was, the little like bed and breakfast, it looked cool. It had some like really cool rooms, especially like the dungeon downstairs. That was a nice touch. And I did like that we had a bunch of stereotypes. The characters were pretty solid. I mean, they didn't get a lot of screen time because they kept dying, but for the most part, I enjoyed them. Now, what didn't we like? As much as we can say that the practical effects were solid, like some of the kills were good, all of the weird heads didn't look very realistic. Like the ones on the shelves and things like that. Even were... the one that I did say was like my favorite kill. Like the head looks like 
kind of garbage. Yeah. Like the sculpt is fine, but like the painting of them, like they just look like rubber heads. And that probably happened because they had to make so many damn rubber heads. Like they're hanging from the roof, they're all over the place, they're on all the shelves. But when you need to make that many things, chances are they're not gonna look that great. And they didn't. I have my mixed feelings with uh, Shaggy's character. I, I agree. I get what they're getting across here, but I feel as though like they could have did more with him. Like, yeah, he was like a hunchback, like sidekick guy with weird teeth. Shaggy is so much cooler than that. He deserved better. And he didn't even tell anyone to fuck off. Cause I ain't nothing so so you and the boys can straight fuck I wanted to see some super balls, man. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a play. Now bitch, super balls is the name. And he didn't strangle one person. Cause I'm a stop by strangling. Obviously the pacing's gonna be weird when you're injecting a random clip of the song Bowling Balls every time somebody dies or they switch a scene. You head with me so much to me. Your head would mean so much to me. Well, it was fun and funny if you liked the music. If you are not an ICP fan, you may not like this film. <laughs> really, this is for ICP fans, but as a horror fan, you'll find it entertaining, but there's really no story to this. I do want to shout out that there's that one guy, the first kill that we get, this girl gets her head decapitated. If you notice, in the bottom left, there's a guy who does like the pumping of the air to shoot the blood out and to pop the head off. You can see him clearly in frame. It is a production error, but I thought it was so funny. <laughs> if I was just sneaking in the corner of a shot of any movie. You're gonna see me. Double A wasn't doing his job. He Double A references Alex Abyss, who at the time was the president of Psychopathic Records, ICP's record label, at a gathering once. Every year, the Insane Clown Posse throws the Gathering of the Juggalos. It's a huge festival celebrating music, wrestling, ninjas, weddings, Gilbert Gottfried, and whatever the hell this is. I was very into poker at the time. I won a tournament, and if you win like two nights or something, you go to a final table with Alex Abyss, Jump Steady, who's Violent J's brother. There's a few other like psychopathic members there. I'm the one who took out Alex Abyss. It was so fun. You're doing that? I'm swapping weed with uh, Daddy X and everyone else from Cottonmouth Kings. Oh yeah, that was cool. And they're like, oh, you guys are the Canadians? Yeah, we got our Cali Orange. Why don't we switch? It's like, we got the PC Bluff. Yeah. It was like Johnny Richter like swapped weed with us. Yeah, he had his like banana blunt wraps all rolled up and ready to go. Lou Dog I smoked with at some point. <laughs> Man, I miss it. It's all right. When we give a shout out to Midcard Maniacs, Dark Lotus release party in Detroit, I was hanging out with the, the Rude Boy just talking wrestling. Back when I was cool. That's the dislike. <laughs> we used to be cool. Bullshit. Look, look how cool I am. I'm wearing an Orange Cassidy shirt. I got it. Hey, we're both wearing fruit themed shirts. Do you think the Juggalos are gonna think that's cool? Juggalos like death and murder and shit. Everyone loves pugs. Okay, maybe that's the commonality between regular people and Juggalos. Not, Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think we can both agree that we wish there was more and we wish there was a sequel. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I enjoyed Bowling Balls for what it is. A stupid little shitty horror movie that came as an extra on a CD. It was just a really cool little perk at the time. Well, I probably appreciated it a little bit more. It was like, ICP in a horror movie? This is the best thing ever. Watching it now, it's still pretty good. Of course, it's dumb and quirky just like ICP is, but if you're a fan of ICP or you're okay with that kind of humor, then you're gonna have a fun time because it's just over the top stupidness and it fits to their characters. I happen to like Violent J and Shaggy too dope. I think they're hilarious and they nailed their roles. I don't think that I liked Shaggy's character that much, I think they could have used him a little bit differently. And I wasn't the biggest fan of like inner cutting the music video. It worked for what it was. I'm not gonna knock it too much. So I'm gonna give this four Neon Hatchet Man signs that could be sold on Psychopathic Traders for an unreal amount of money out of five. This is for the Juggalos and Juggalettes. It is for Juggalos and Juggalettes. It was straight to the point. You knew what you were getting into. It was just car breaks down and crazy murderous psycho family is like across the street 
and you get really good kills. I did enjoyed all the decapitations. As silly that, as they looked, it was just fun watching like two people fight over a body and then just like the spine rips out and like Violent J and Shaggy do like a little slapstick bit. Plus Violent J is a good actor. I liked his character in this film. Just disappointed with how they use Shaggy too dope. And even if you're not an ICP fan, this is really like 20 minutes of just fun. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film four shitty Jekyll Brothers door knockers out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen this. If you've ever played Morton's List, let us know the craziest thing you did in that game. And if you want to watch this, it is available on YouTube somehow in 4K. He upscaled it from like the shittiest quality to 4K. I don't know how this was done. Shout out to that guy. I forget his name right now, but uh, first link in the comments. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with everything Bloodbath and beyond. <laughs>